welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a marvelous day. Well, let's get to it, shall we, right? Now, I'm going to be setting our eyes with the Maybelline AG1 Concealer to give us a nice, smooth face for our eyes because we are going to be working with very bright colors. So we need to make sure that our eyes are primed and ready to go. I'm going to be setting that concealer with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Setting Powder. And this will just make sure that everything goes perfectly today for our eyes. Going in with my new palette, the Juvia's Masquerade palette, and going in with the first shade, Burkina. It's just a very nice brown um, transition shade that's very warm, so it's going to be make a, it very easy for us. And making sure that we don't come out with a blue eye, just a regular blue eye. This is going to give us dimension, and it's going to make everything look absolutely flawless. Next, going in with the shade Zulu which is just a bit darker and a bit more red. So we're going to be focusing this mainly on our outer side of the eye. And we're just going to make sure that we build up that warm, beautiful crease that we have going on so far. Then going in with Ada on a shorter, tapered, more dense crease brush on the outer corner of our eye. And we're going to be making sure that that gives us dimension and prepares the eye for more darker, more intense shadows. This is one of my favorite looks and I love how the orange crease compares with the blue lid. So, very excited. Taking any black shadow that you have and Ada and Fulani, the two darkest shades in the Masquerade palette. And we're going to be focusing that in our outer corner to give us that dimension and that depth and going darker and darker and darker. And then that way we are ready for the lid shade, which is going to be coming up in a second, um, Zola. This is a very nice shimmery blue aqua, and it looks like a cream, but it's really not. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then for the outer part of our lid to give us that dimension of an ocean blue, we're going to go in, be going in with Dahlia. And as you can see by the swatch, it's absolutely gorgeous and it reminds me a lot of the ocean. And so this will give us that effect of a mermaid. Then we're going to be going in with Fashionista again and blending that outer corner so that the shades mesh together and make it look all flawless and smooth. Next, we're going to be going in with eyeliner. Just a simple cat eye with any eyeliner that you have would be great. This one is just tattooed, and it's just a very nice and black eyeliner that I got in my Ipsy bag. And it's just very, very nice and amazing, and so that's the one I use for today. And then the next one is Model Launcher, and it's basically an emerald blue green aqua kind of thing going on, and I use that to fill the gaps to give that eyeliner a little bit more of a spark, but it actually just did nothing, but oh well. Um, now I'm going in with False Lashes, the Ardell Double Wispies with Duo Lash Glue, my favorite lash glue. It works for any occasion of a lashes that you need, and it's just going to dry a little bit, and then we're going to put them on. If you guys need help on how to put on lashes, and you want a tutorial on that, then please let me know, and we'll be gladly to help you with your lash issues. Now we're going to be wiping off all that blue fallout on our cheeks because nobody likes that. And we're going to be using a Garnier Micellar Water and a, just a paper towel that you have or you can use a makeup wipe. Now we're ready for the face and we're going to be starting off with primer. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer for my oily skin of course. Then we're going to be going in with Maybelline Baby Skin which is a pore eraser to put that over my acne to smooth out everything so that we have the perfect primer base. Then we're going in with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Fonda Foundation in Cream Beige, I believe. If not, you can see it on the bottle. And we're, this just gives a perfect HD foundation base for a mermaid, of course, because we are mermaids today. And I'm going to be blending that with an e.l.f. Uh, buffing foundation brush. Then, because it is a little bit too light for me, I'm going to be going in with the NYX HD Concealer in Tan Bronze. And I'm going to be putting that on the outer portions of my face to make sure that that blends with my neck because I went to the beach recently and it doesn't really match, but we're going to make it match because it's going to work for today. Taking that same Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer underneath my eyes as concealer. And we're going to be blending that out with the new Real Techniques Beauty Sponge for the body. It's weird, I know, but it's humongous. My mom got it on accident, but it's fine. We're going to just be blending that our con that using 
we're gonna be blend using that to blend out our concealer. I'm getting tongue tied. And then we're gonna be baking with that as well using the same Cody Airspun powder. On our chin, on our nose, and on our forehead as well. To, that's where I get the oiliest and this will ensure that my makeup stays on longer. Then taking a regular face powder, any other face powder that you guys have. This one is the Better Skin by Maybelline and setting the rest of my face using my skin color. Then taking NYX Micro Brow in Chocolate. It kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I didn't really like that one but I actually like this one a lot. And I love the spoolie on it and it just made my eyebrows so much easier than it actually is. And I was able to do my brows in like less than two minutes, so it was pretty cool. Then setting that with the Jordana Fabu Brow in clear. And just making sure that those brow hairs do not move. I really need to tweeze them because, you know, it is that what it is, but this brow gel really does help. Now I'm going to be bronzing and contouring the cheeks. And now you know that a mermaid can't stay uncontoured so we got to contour the heck out of those cheeks and make sure that they are sharp and we are bronzed and we look absolutely contoured and to even make it even sharper we're going to be baking underneath that contour using the same powder and the same sponge and we're just going to be cleaning that up then wiping off the bake underneath our eyes so that we can work with the lower lash line of our eyes taking those two those three same shades on our outer corner and putting that underneath our lashes that's fashionista ada and fulani on the same tapered dense brush um and we're gonna be just be blending that underneath our eyes and this will just give us that dimension of course so that our eyes look more awake more big and more doll like then we're going to be highlighting our inner corner and our brow bone using this holographic eyeshadow for in the Urban Decay palette. And this is the shade Lily. And it basically looks white in the pan, but on your face it looks pink. I think it's really cool. So that's what we're going to be using for our inner corners. Then for eyeliner, in our waterline, we're going to be using this Wet n Wild pencil. It's just like a forest metallic green. Any metallic green that you have would be working fine. And we're just going to be putting this in our waterline, but I'm not going to show you too much of that because that's kind of gross. But, and then we're going to take that emerald eyeliner that we used in the beginning on our eyes, and we're going to be putting that on our lower lash line. Never done this before, but I thought it would add a really cool effect, and it really did. So it made my eyes more, more defined and really made it look pretty. So, and then you blend that out, of course, and then we're going to be going in with mascara. The L'Oreal Voluminous Original is my absolute favorite right now, and we're just going to be connecting that to the fake lashes to make them look awesome. Then taking this Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the, col in the color Crown of My Canopy, and it's just this really beautiful bronze pink, and we're going to be putting that in our inner corners and our brow bone as well to mix with that holographic highlighter. And then for blush, Apricot in the Middle Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush is my absolute favorite right now for the summer. And we're going to be putting that on our cheeks and our, a little bit down the nose, our chin, and the forehead as well to make everything match. Then taking that same highlighter, I mean that same eyeshadow Lily, on, on our face. This is where we go and we layer eyeshadows so that it prepares our face for the glitter. We're going to be mixing a bunch of different shades. For example, this one is the Urban Decay. Um, mini eyeshadow for it's like a dual chrome of like a warm blue and we're gonna be putting that on our face using a very fluffy crease brush or any favorite highlighting brush that you have and then also we're gonna be going in with Mally in the masquerade palette and it's basically building a bunch of blues and emeralds on our eyes to act as our highlight and then the glitter will also act as our highlight as well also taking Zola and doing the same thing, we're just layering eyeshadows, as you can see. And then we're going to be taking Giza, which is a very, very metallic uh, pearl eyeshadow. And we're going to be putting that on our faces as well, and on our nose, on our cupid's bow, stuff like that. And we're going to be making this very, very nice. Now for the glitter. You're going to need glitter, full control, um, hairspray, uh, index card, and a container for the glitter, as well as a brush. And the first thing that you're going to do is basically put the card above your eye 
Well, obviously, pour the glitter into the container first. Getting a little bit of my, ahead of myself so that you guys can see. But what you, then what you're going to do is put the hairspray up against your cheek, but cover, using the index card to cover your eye. And then what is, while the hairspray is still wet, pack on the glitter. This is kind of like a DIY method. I didn't really search up anywhere. I just kind of figured, well, hairspray is sticky. Might as well put it on my face. And because it comes off, I was like, okay, I would have no problems. So... That's what I kind of did, and then I did that twice to build up the glitter, and then I did a, one more hairspray to like lock it in. And then now for the lips, I'm going to be using NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Butter. It's just a very blank canvas lip. This will act as a perfect base, and I was actually going to leave it here, but then I was like, no, it's going to kind of makes me look dead, and Mermaid is supposed to be alive. So I was like, okay, let me get my Anastasia Lip Kit. And I mixed white and the black, more white than black. It's like three quarters white, one fourth black. And I mixed it and it made this beautiful blue gray. And I was like, that's perfect. And I made an ombre and I put it in the center of my lips. And then I kind of like mushed it together, put my lips together. And then I just highlighted my cupid's bow and with the same color Giza with a small detail brush. And then I was done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe down below. Remember to check out, check out my social medias at Makeup by Sandy F. And if you enjoyed this video, then let me know so I can make others. I love you guys very much. Bye-bye.